Hi everyone. So in this particular video, we'll be learning about the admin preferences. So first of all, go to tools bar and click on admin and then admin preferences. So see here, you will have some options or maybe some changes that you can do uh, just like some general changes. You can uh, change the code separator uh, from dot to comma or maybe something else. Then you can change the starting day of your week. Like usually it is Sunday, but if you want to change it to Monday, depending on the country or the location in which your project is being executed, you can change the starting day. By default, when you create a new activity, it will take a duration of four days. But if you want, like for example, most of your activities that you create in your project are of 10 days, then you can change the default duration to 10 days. If you want to enable the password, then you can create the password also with this. Then some data li uh, limits. See, when you create EPS, WBS, OBS, resources, roles, you have some limits. Like EPS, you can only have 10 levels. Like one below the other, you can have 10 levels. Okay. Similarly, for OBS also, you can have maximum 10 levels as per the default. But if you want to make it to 12, 14, 20, so you can change it from 1 to 25. You can increase it to 25 till 25 okay similarly uh, the number of uh, maybe let us say resource tree levels the number of role code tree levels and all also you can change you can increase the number of baselines also for your project from 10 to 12 to 14 and all similarly the number of financial calendars that you can make you can increase that also and all ID lens. See, you create some IDs for your activities, then for your EPS, for your OBS and all, you can increase the length of your project ID, WBS ID, resource ID also. I think the maximum limit is 45 here. You can increase these limits also. Then time periods. See, this we already changed in the calendar, but you can change it from here also if you want. The number of hours per day, per week, per month and per year you can change. Similarly, the abbreviations that you are using for minutes, hours, days, weeks, month and years you can change. See, month and minute both start with M. So by default, it has given N to minutes and M to months. Okay, You can change it like for day if you want, you can make it to D, A, Y and so on. So when you close this, it will get reflected. I'll show you just you close, close this and you see in the duration. See, first of all, this original duration is not coming with day. So you need to include, include the day here, but we can go to definitely resources and we can see that instead of per D, A, per D, it is now showing per D A Y. Okay. But if you want to include the D here, you can change those settings also. So we'll go to admin preferences. Okay. So we'll make it back to D. Similarly, for earned value, you can change these things. See, when you calculate performance percentage complete, then it will take it equal to activity percentage complete. I'll show you how. See, you need to just customize the column and you need to include performance. Percentage complete. See. If I include the column of percentage performance percentage complete, then it will take it equal to activity percentage complete as of now. See 100%, 100% and 20%, which is equal to activity percentage complete. But if you want to change the formula for this, you can very well do this by maybe by US WBS milestone or maybe by 50 by 50% 50 complete by these techniques, you can change the formula, but we will keep it same. Okay. Similarly, technique for computing the ETC. Right now, ETC is simply your remaining cost for the activity. But you want to change the formula for this, then you can change it and you can define your PF also here. PF is nothing but some uh, particular performance factor, which is multiplying by the budget at completion minus earned value. So you can change the value of this PF also. Okay. Similarly, when calculating earned value from a baseline, we are using budgeted values with planned dates. If you want to change the setting, you can change the setting also. Reports. So if you want to create some headers and footers, predefined headers and footers for your reports, you can very well change them from this. Let us say on header, you want to mention IT building project, then on your header, this will be displayed on footer. Nothing will be displayed. You want to create sets for this for one set different Second set different, you can create them. Options, then you have some customization options like summary will be displayed based on week. But if you want to display them monthly basis, you can choose month here. 
you have some professional online help i recommend not changing these websites because these are enabled by the system already then rate type see you have some predefined rate types like for example for some certain activity you have different rates like from one subcontractor you have some rate from second you have some rate from client you have some rate and you can add the rate types you can change the rate types very well then industry see when you would have realized that when you open the primavera it says to contact the administration for this industry selection you have not yet selected your industry so if you select your industry then that particular pop up will not come anymore then some sites if you have some exception sites then you can add them very well here so this is how we set some admin preferences we are the admin for this primavera so we can set some preferences of our own so that's all for this video thank you everyone